how to install, feed wire, and set wire tension on your portable MIG welder. Install the welding wire spool on the welder so the wire feeds from the bottom of the spool. Hold the wire with one hand and with the other hand snip the end to get a straight edge. Be certain not to let go of the wire or it will unravel. Open the drive roll pressure arm. Feed the wire into the inlet guide, over the drive roll, and into the next inlet guide. Feed in about 3 to 4 inches of wire into the MIG torch. While still holding tension on the wire, close the drive roll pressure arm and flip up the tension adjustment. Turn the welder input power on. Remove the nozzle and the contact tip from the end of the MIG gun. Turn the wire feed speed on the front of your machine all the way up. Stretch out the gun and press and hold the trigger while watching for the wire to exit the end of the MIG gun. When the wire exits, release the trigger. Reinstall the contact tip and then the nozzle. Trim the wire to length. Your wire is now installed. To set the spool tension, loosen the tension control on the spool until the spool barely starts to unwind. Slightly tighten the spool tension until the spool stops spinning. When doing this operation, do not let the spool turn more than one half revolution. Excessive loose wire may cause feed problems. Pull the trigger one to two seconds and release while watching the wire between the spool and the first inlet guide. Look for a sag in the wire when the wire stops feeding. A slight sag indicates the proper amount of tension. If there is no sag when the wire feed stops, then loosen the tension control to lower the spool tension. Remember to use small adjustments when adjusting the tension control. To set the drive roll tension, loosen the drive roll tension control until the drive roll spins but the wire doesn't feed. Tighten the tension control by turning it one half turn. Pull the trigger while watching the wire in the drive roll. Check for slippage. If the wire is slipping, repeat the process of one half turn on the tension control and check for slippage. Repeat this until the wire feeds continuously. Feed three to four inches of wire out of the end of the gun. Using a gloved hand, bend the wire and feed it into the gloved hand to apply some back pressure. While doing this, watch the wire for a smooth feed. If the wire slips, add another one half turn to the tension control adjustment.